Hey there, it's Pete C for Sunfly Review, and today I'm checking out Celtic Era 2 by Eduardo Taralonti and Best Service. For many years, Eduardo Taralonti's libraries have been my go-to for anything that needs to be more cinematic, yet full of character. From an abundance of world libraries, to ethereal vocals, to themes such as the forest or the desert, Eduardo Taralonti's work consistently shines. Celtic Era 2 is a surprise update to the original Celtic era, which has echoes of a land forgotten threaded through and through. This review will compare the new instruments and celebrate the old for those who are yet to experience this wonderful collection of Celtic instruments. Celtic Era 2 downloads at 25.2 gigabytes and all samples are recorded in 24-bit, 44.1 kilohertz resolution. They feature a combined total of 36 string, wind, historic and percussive instruments. Each instrument has a range of articulations, velocity layers and round robins, and Celtic Era 2 requires the free best service engine 2.0. Celtic Era 2 normally sells for $259. And here we have Celtic Era 2. If you used the first edition, you'll notice there's a GUI change. So without giving away too much else that's new, I've made a very, very short contextual demo. I'm a huge fan of Eduardo Torolante vocals, so I've borrowed some vocals from the Vocal Codex library, and I've used maybe, I think it's five Celtic Era 2 instruments and I've borrowed a little bit of cinematic percussion from elsewhere. Without further ado, here's a demo. Whenever I describe an Eduardo Taralonte library, it is always instant cinema. No matter if it's vocals, historical instruments, or meditation with nada, it just sounds cinematic out of the box. So here's the Carnic sound. <laughs> And everything's rich, there is a nice healthy dose of reverb, and all the instruments just are expertly sampled. So let's talk about the library a little bit more. At the moment, I've got the Carnic sound written, uh, sorry, loaded up, and I've kept Celtic Era 1 installed so we can do some comparisons. I will apologise that sometimes when we have long menus like that due to the engine layout sometimes we are going to miss a couple of menus but i will talk you through those so in celtic era 2 we still have the same six categories that you have in celtic era 
And if you look at ancient, we have the Carnix. And very interestingly, it sounds different in Celtic Era 1. <laughs> So there's a little E minor riff, and you can see the GUI is different. So if I load Celtic Era 2, and just the Carnix there. It sounds a little bit brighter to me. And that is a difference with the library. So there are some new samples, but everything is programmed slightly differently and you're going to get different sounds. But if you've used the first one, you're going to be totally at home and then just add to that brilliant library. So let's look at the Carnix as we are here. The way the instruments work, CC1 is generally linked to something. So vibrato volume. <laughs> And then use different key switches. So if I want to use legato, I would hold this down. And this will sound, due to the nature of the instrument, a little bit almost wobbly. And it sounds very lifelike. But I would use a little bit of legato, not everything. So you get the idea. And then if I want to use Marcato short. Or crescendo short. Or a long one. So some great flutter tongue. And then you just play through. So you chain up the key switches while you're playing and you create really lifelike performances. The whole point of mentioning that is now I'm going to turn off the microphone and just play through some different instruments. And then we're going to focus on a couple of changes and in particular some of my favourite instruments. <laughs> Bye. Uh -huh. 
Lots going on there, plenty of sounds to play with. So that's just a small taste, uh, 23 minutes worth of just hearing the sounds. And I was just playing just very sort of basic melodies and trying to see articulations out. So you can see Celtic era uh, one, for example, we've got a new um, ancient instrument called the Dord, which I did play a little bit of. And if we go, let's jump into the soundscapes because I love these soundscapes. Now the first edition we had a decent amount, don't get me wrong, um, especially the winds which are my favourite. If we go to Celtic Era 2, um, we've got yeah, everything we possibly could need. So I'm just going to load up one of the winds and I love these soundscapes.
they're absolutely gorgeous. And let's say you have a soundscape. Uh, let's go Celtic Adventure. And you don't like, let's say, uh, the plucked two. You could just bring the volume down. So you can further customize the controls of all of these instruments. So I said that I talk about the instruments that I that really stand out for me. Um, so first of all, the soundscapes, they are gorgeous. They range from like mystical and they've got, you know, a slightly detuned quality to some of them. And then you've got the gorgeousness, like I say, that is the Celtic Wings. So they're absolutely stunning. Now, let's keep moving forwards. So the acoustic guitars just really are amazing. I'm a guitarist myself and to get that sort of clean but character driven sound is really difficult. And these are like, they feel great to play. Now there is a video game that that tone reminds me of and I can't think what it is, but it is just It's just gorgeous and then the articulations the harmonics Again, they are stunning and then the little slides or actually the chords If I could find the slides, yep. And I love the mutes as well. It's just great. So you've got two acoustic guitars that really are standouts for me. And the zither, the, the harps are amazing as well, but the zither Again, it's another instrument I absolutely love. So yeah, the zither, uh, both of them sound fantastic. And that's just in the strings. Now the fiddle, um, really, really cool. Again, instant video game for me. Um, I love the fact you control the volume of the vibrato. And what that does, it creates a very progressive vibrato. And I really wish more instruments would adopt this approach, not just having a sort of, you know, even like a fader on off. It actually has this progressive vibrato feel. It's 
stunning. And again, you've got all of the different articulations. <laughs> So yeah, very, very cool. Um, and if we can compare that to Celtic Hero 1, just so we can see the string category. Um, yeah, just having a couple of extras uh, makes all the difference. So really, really cool sounds there. The winds, I love uh, the flutes. I didn't play the tin whistle in the little demo, but... Again, articulations. Sounds really cool. And you've got to remember, these aren't being sort of compared against instruments that are, um, you know, like modern day orchestral equivalent. These are designed to have the Celtic character. And that's the whole point of this library. And it really does deliver in spades. Um, let's go for in the pipes. The, I mean, the bagpipes are just incredible. Let's play uh, Scottish small pipes. And you get a drone, which you just turn on or off. And you can control the volume. And of course, you use the key switches yet again to control these lifelike performances. So really, really cool. And then the other thing is, if you're not sure what the instrument is, you can click on info and you'll get this really, really cool um, sort of history of the instrument. And of course it tells you how to play the drone. Turn it on and off. Uh, but dated in 1755. So, yeah, very, very uh, old instruments. And that's, again, the point. You, you're getting instruments that you're not going to find anywhere else. So the winds are fantastic. The flutes really are fantastic. Um, the ocarine, yeah, absolutely gorgeous, especially when you start using those key switches. The soundscapes I've covered... Uh, let's go to the percussion. Now, obviously, it's very, very traditional percussion. If I play the toms, for example. And they're very, very responsive. You can hear the velocity layers at work. I love how the GUI just sort of lights up the harder I play it. And again, you get reverb controls. So these really sound great, especially when layered up together, but you get a very traditional ensemble. Then the green keys, you get rolls. So these are already programmed in for you. And yeah, they sort of really help add to the sort of human sound. Then the snares, um, these are really, really punchy, but imagine, you know, like snares being marched. And then the green keys. Oops. So you get all sorts of performances, and of course, you actually do have uh, some loops in there as well. 
So you can't see these. Uh, we've got open rolls, closed rolls. Sorry, closed. Let's do some open rolls. Now that did peak a little bit. There you go. So it's not peak anymore. Sounds great. Uh, so you get open rolls and I believe these are um, tempo synced as well. So that's cool. Um, then we have the concertinas. I did play these. Absolutely love them. And I'd use these in kind of like contemporary orchestral work as well. So yeah, um, right up my street. Sounds great. And then the ancient, um, the cornu didn't play it. It sounds very sort of brass. And again, let's look at the information. So, ancient Roman brass instrument, about three meters in length. That's a cool little picture as well. Um, so yeah, used by gladiators. Well, not by them, to accompany them. So a little history lesson as well. And I love just reading those little things because I'll be honest, I don't know what every instrument in the world is. And it's a great learning tool. love six some kind of lo-fi effect on those horns that's um, brilliant so really that is everything you get it's just invites you to explore and like I say comparing to the first version you know the percussion there's two instruments uh now we've got five different categories the um soundscapes are bigger the strings there's more strings winds uh flutes and pipes so there's a lot more added and getting a good bagpipe sound is always a challenge um so yeah very very impressed my final thoughts on celtic era 2 well it is expanded in quite a big way the difference in gigabytes is roughly eight gigabytes worth of samples and obviously all the different instruments you get for 99 dollars which is the upgrade price that is an absolute bargain but if you're just jumping in for the first time this is a premium collection of celtic instruments and if you listen to the demos when it's all combined you just really get this amazing cinematic Celtic sound but it doesn't have to be cinematic you can roll off the reverb and you have a very very dry sound for everything you do so if I just do an example with uh, the corny turn the reverb off completely dry so you can go more traditional as well if you're any kind of media composer, this is brilliant, especially if you combine it with orchestral samples or other different genres. I use Dark Era a lot as well and Medieval Era too, and all of these combine beautifully together. So video games, movies, TV, absolutely perfect. If you're a traditionalist and you want a great collection of historical instruments and instruments with, with character, um, you know, you're not going to find these anywhere else. This is also a fantastic collection of instruments. If you just love using Eduardo Taralonte instruments like I do, Eduardo, I'm going to keep saying it, does create the best libraries. Um, they are out of this world. Then it really is a no-brainer. Um, just update, have loads of fun, play around the instruments, mess around the key switches and start composing some awesome music. So yeah, it was a surprise update for me. I didn't see it coming and I'm so pleased it's here because it's taken an already fantastic collection and elevated it to new heights. All that leads me to say is thank you so much for checking out this review of Celtic Era 2 by Eduardo Taralonte and Best Service. If you like what you heard, feel free to leave a like on the video and leave a comment. What do you like about the uh, instrument? What sort of changes do you like and how would you use it? 
If you've not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos on YouTube. Then head over to samplybreview.com for everything that's going on in the world of virtual instruments. Till next time, thank you for stopping by and I'm sure we'll speak again soon.